Happy Easter everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make a giant Cadbury cream egg. Now when it comes to the chocolate you have two options. You can either melt your chocolate and use it straight away, or you can temper your chocolate which is what I'm going to do. Tempering chocolate essentially means it will set harder, be snappier, and won't melt in your hands as soon as you touch it the way simply melting and resetting chocolate would. To temper your chocolate the first thing you'll need to do is break a 4 ounce bar into 2 thirds and then put the two halves into two separate bowls. Break up the smaller amount into finely chopped pieces and now we're going to melt the larger portion of chocolate over a pan of boiling water. Place a pan of water onto a heat and bring it to a low boil. Then place a heat proof bowl on top and add in the larger portion of your chocolate. Stirring until melted, and being careful not to get any water in the bowl which would cause our chocolate to seize up and not set properly. When fully melted, remove from the heat, add in our remaining finely chopped chocolate, and stir until combined. Then allow the chocolate to cool, stirring frequently, and using a thermometer to check the temperature, when it drops down to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, take it back over to the stove. Then once again using a thermometer we're looking to bring the temperature back up to between 88 and 91 degrees Fahrenheit. When it reaches the correct temperature remove it from the heat and pour it into our prepared mould. You can buy easter egg moulds online but I'm using this, which is the packaging I kept from an old easter egg. Pour your chocolate into the mould and working quickly roll the chocolate around until all the sides are evenly coated. Then when you're happy, place it into the fridge for around 30 minutes, or until set. While that's cooling, we can work on the filling for our Cadbury egg. Into a bowl, measure out 8 tablespoons of icing sugar, and 3 teaspoons of water or milk, adjusting as necessary until you have a thick icing. Separate one teaspoon, and using some yellow and orange food colouring, make the yolk for our egg. When the two halves are set, carefully pour in the filling. As you can see, I didn't make quite enough, so feel free to adjust the quantities to best suit your sized egg. Then brush some leftover melted chocolate around the rim of one half and seal the egg together. Press everything down and then place it back into the fridge for a good hour before attempting to remove it from its mould. One hour later you should have something like this. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, let me know what you think or if you end up trying this for yourself down in the comments. Thank you for watching, if you did enjoy today's video check out my cooking playlist for more recipes. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, it really would be greatly appreciated. Leave any suggestions for future recipes you'd like to see down in the comments. Happy Easter, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.